All right, so we're back, and uh, hope you don't mind if I smoke. Uh, so yeah, this is a Evoli stock uh, G4 operator backpack. Empty, it weighs an astounding nine and a half pounds. It's kind of ridiculous, but it's it's because of the way it's built. It's hardcore tough. Um, I think it's uh, five thousand liters. Liters, no cubic liters. Uh, it's got a brain flap that pops out of the back. There's a zipper right here that you can cover the uh, uh, cover the entire pack with. The uh, back strap is not removable, but the belt is. Well, yeah, the, the hip belt is removable, but this this uh, back rest piece is not. Uh, it's got great ventilation and padding along the back, and uh, as well as the straps. I would like it if the straps were just slightly wider. They are kind of thin. They're padded nicely, but uh, they're still a little thin, considering you can stuff a lot of things into this backpack. Um, everything's coated in molly. So you can attach whatever you think of to it uh, along the sides, the front, the bottom, and both uh, sides of the belt are coated in molly. Uh, actually on this side I have a Maxpedition Rolly Poly that I connected to it uh, just for you know, if I pick up something along the way and don't feel like taking off the pack, I can just jam it in there. Uh, the main pouch is... Uh, let me see if I can get my light over here. Uh, let me see in there. I'm trying to get my light in there. Uh, main pouch separated actually is a, a floor that you can unzip that goes into here and uh, I just like it because I like to be able to separate you know I think they keep a lot of the food stuff in here and then this is more gear type stuff. Inside the main compartment there's uh, two large side zipper compartments one on either side to mesh so you can kind of see what's going on in there. There's a small pocket on, on the inside and you can put maps or books or you know whatever. And then like I said earlier, uh, inside here is another larger pocket where I have uh, my bag of water. It's actually inside a sleeping bag uh, bag to keep just a little extra protection for the bladder so nothing, nothing happens to it. There's two large pockets uh, along the sides uh, with uh, Fastex type clips that uh, you can close them. These you can also store water bladders in. Uh, it's got a little hook to fold them up so they don't go sliding down the bottom. Uh, and these are deep pockets. They go all the way down to the bottom of the backpack. Uh, and then something I really like. Uh, you know, if you were carrying, you know, ammo, you can, inside this pocket, it's kind of like a hidden pocket, uh, you can mount, you know, mag holders in here, and it's easy access, it's quick zip, and you're in, uh, it's got those on both sides. Uh, also, you can also do this as a top loader, uh, at least for the top compartment. Uh, it's got you know, typical drawstring flap open. Um, and I say I'm going to put my smoke out. Uh, the, actually, you might see the strap here. Uh, I'll explain that in a minute. Uh, and the top portion. Uh, it's just, it's actually a pretty deep pocket, 
I don't know if you can see that. And it's kind of lightweight. It wasn't really meant to carry anything heavy. Uh, but there's a pocket here. And then actually there's a, a separate pocket on the back that uh, is just the top portion. And it's just a really thin pocket. They put miscellaneous knickknacks and whatever in. Uh, and the whole beauty of this backpack uh, is this pocket right here that separates the main bag from the frame. This is an internal frame pack, by the way. Uh, it's two aluminum uh, rods that go here through either side. Um, and they're moldable, so to speak, so you can kind of customize it for uh, contour your back. Uh, but yeah, getting back here. Uh, this is a rifle pouch. And in here is the top to it. Uh, it would clip on to the top and conceal the uh, top port, or well, the muzzle of the rifle or the barrel, depending on what direction you, or no, the barrel. It'll either conceal the uh, buttstock or the barrel, depending on what direction you stuffed it in here. Oh, look at this. Cutting board for tactical gourmet action. Uh, yeah, why not? It fits. So anyway, uh, a rifle will fit in here. Uh, I don't know if you can see my arm. It's all the way down at the bottom there. Uh, and then also, if that's not long enough, there's a thing here that actually slides out. that uh, it's coated in it's like a rubberized, it almost feels like leather, but it's rubber, uh, rubberized material where uh, I think you could probably fit, I don't know, that's about 30 inches, I would guess. You could probably fit an M4 in here or real close. Uh, let me try. Hang on a second. I'll go get one. You guys remember this, don't you? Yeah. So yeah, clamps the buttstock. Let's see how far this guy goes in. The magazine's probably gonna give me a problem. Yeah, I can't put it in the magazine. Let me pop the magazine on. Oh yeah, I live in California. I need a tool to remove my magazine. Hang on. There you go, Sally. Safety girl. All right, so yeah, let's see what we can do with this. All the way in. The butt stock is actually a couple of inches down. It's about right here, and the. Uh, barrel is all the way down at the bottom here. So, yeah, I mean, it's not that it's not very obvious, but, you know, it's cool if uh, you want to carry a rifle in your pack. And then, like I said, it's got the cover that goes over the top, so if you did have a longer rifle, uh, you could strap this on to these fast tech uh, buttons or buckles and uh, it would stick up thusly. Uh, so yeah, oh, one more thing. Uh, you can adjust the height of these straps uh, by adjusting, you can see the, these straps here, uh, you can move this down or up depending on uh, where you want the belt to wrap around your waist. If you've got a little short torso then you'd move this down so that uh, you know, this wouldn't be hanging around your ass. So yeah, there you go. Eberly Stock Operator G4 backpack and my loadout of get home shit. I also have a uh, I think this is a Surefire 
call this? I think it's a Sidewinder. And it's got uh, three different colors of lights, as well as a bright. And it's got a red light, uh, a bright light, blue light, and an infrared light. I don't own any infrared gear, but you know, just in case I want to blind a dog or something, I can do it. <laughs> All right, guys, uh, that's it for this video. I've gambered long enough. Uh, thanks for watching, and I will get back with uh, another video pretty shortly. I think I'm going to do a contest. I'm almost up to 50 subscribers. Uh, I think I'll do a 50 uh, subscriber contest, and uh, probably going to give away some cool gear uh, that I just have sitting around. I kind of feel bad because I don't have any use for it, and I know uh, us like-minded types, one of us will. So. Uh, stay tuned for that video. Thanks for watching. Take care.